Oh, there is! Guys, it's a, uh, an ammo can. Oh, there he goes again. There he goes, there he goes. Bobber, bobber down, bobber down. The beaver, the beaver. I see the beaver. <laughs> What's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode. Uh, I am out on the kayak right now in the middle of a swamp and there's a beaver dam right there. Check out that beaver dam right behind me. I wonder if the beaver's home. So I've got my fishing poles with me. I've got cooking gear along. There's no real plan for today besides actually catching a fish. If you guys have been wondering where the episodes have been, it's been a long time since I've actually been lucky fishing. So this is day six of fishing for me right now. Days one through five have all been fishless. I wanna catch a fish really bad and you're gonna join me. So back this way, uh, out the swamp, there's a small lake there that should have lots of trout in it. It also has some bass, maybe some crappie. Maybe we can troll for them, cast for them, see what can happen. The water is a little brown, very clear, but it's got a brown swampy tint to it. Oh, oh, sorry, goose. Uh, we're gonna do a Q&A as well. A lot of you guys had some really good questions on Instagram that I'm gonna answer for you today. Here's a beaver dam too. So we're gonna have to get a running start to get over this beaver dam. It's a little shallow. Oh, we're stuck on the beaver dam. <laughs> Check it out. Beaver dam right here. Beaver dam there. There's probably, I don't know if it's connected underneath. There we go, nice and gentle. Don't wanna disturb the beaver. They don't hibernate, but they're living in those burrows. And for the winter, beavers collect a bunch of grasses and branches and greens, and they stash it in their beaver dams. And then all winter long, they actually stay in their, their dams and they just eat their reserves. And then come spring is when they've eaten all their supplies and then they come out just in time for all the green shrubs to be around again. What the heck is this? Guys, it's a... Uh, an ammo can. Kind of feels empty. Maybe there's something light in there. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's a 30 cal ammo can. Oh, there's something in here. Congratulations, you found it. This container or cache is part of a worldwide treasure hunting game. Oh, we got a little log book, a bobber. <laughs> That's the first bobber I've ever seen in a, in a geocache. Wow, this geocache dates back to 2016. That's five years ago. Wow. So the last time, it's been about a month ago, Leo and Jay were here. I don't even know what day it is today. I think it's the 10th. Oh no. No guys, we got a bum pen in this geocache. I'll tell you what, this will be our contribution. I'll leave a, I'll leave a fresh pen. Fish on baby. <laughs> There's the new pen. All right. Honestly, we're gonna do anything it takes to catch fish today. Uh, we've got with us today one rod with the bullet lure and then rod number two. This rod here has a slip float set up on it uh, down, down to a little swivel, four pound leader with some space split shot on it. And then down here, the business end, a little pan fish hook. Oh, there's geese coming. Uh-oh. Oh, geez. Look at the geese. Look at them. <laughs> Oh, geez, funny, funny animals. There's a lot of lilies here. Pretty shallow. Shallow, shallow means bass, and I don't want to catch a bass. I want to get out there and catch a trout. We'll do a bass video. We'll do a bass video separately, but not today. Today I'm after something that we can eat. Little windy, so I brought out a uh, an anchor as well, just in case we get blown around a bunch. So what I'm just doing right now is searching for swirls at the surface of the water. And that means that there's a trout actively hunting at the surface. You can fish two poles at this lake. So we're gonna have the bobber out there 
and then we're just gonna cast the bullet lure so that we're fishing two setups at a time. I've got all sorts of stuff with me, man. I've got worms. I do have power bait with me, but that's last reserve. We're gonna try, we're gonna try and do this without power bait. No hate on power bait at all, but we're gonna try El Natural first. You know what this guy here, he's a volunteer. His parents would be proud of him. Kind of just slide that hook inside the worm all the way. Then you just pull the worm over the eyelet there. And then this is the ideal way to have your worm rigged up. And you got the end up on top wiggling around, end on the bottom, and then a little bit of the hook poking out right there. All right, so our bobber is chilling right there. Now we're gonna use the bullet lure just to kind of cast around here a little bit. See if we can't pick something up. I saw something swirl back there. It might just be a bass though. We're gonna troll that bullet lure. That way we can at least get a little bit of action while we're moving. There's some eagles around here too. The ospreys, it's really cool. They hunt for fish. And you can see them dive down into the water sometimes. So we're now dead. Goose, goose, quiet. He's not listening. We are now down at the other side of the lake. As you can see, there's actually houses like down in this corner of the lake. How cool would that be to live like at one of these houses right on the water? <sighs> Maybe one day. We have a uh, new juicy, juicy night crawler on here. So let's go ahead and just make it cast kind of out in front of us a little bit. Man, but that wind is just blowing us. You know what, we're gonna throw the anchor again. We're gonna anchor up right here. Oh, a trout just surfaced right next to the bobber. All right, keep your eyes on the bobber. Keep those eyes on the bobber, guys. Watch that bobber, watch the bobber. Come on, baby, come on. Come on. Oh, 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 bobber. Oh, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down. Oh, it's down, it's way down. Oh, there you go, that's a fish on, baby. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my goodness, there he is. There he is. Oh, 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 he took that bobber six feet under, baby. <laughs> He's not a giant, but that's okay. I'm so happy with just any, any fish right now. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, come on. Is he ready? Is he ready? Oh, 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 it's a trout. It's a trout. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's like, look at this little guy. Oh, he's kind of small. This is a very special trout because he broke my bad luck fishing streak. So I kind of almost, let's see how badly he's hooked, man. If this trout is like not badly hooked, maybe we'll just kind of like, maybe we'll just give it to him. What do you guys think? Okay, all right, here, let's be super gentle. We're gonna wet our hand here. Always make sure when you guys are handling a trout and you intend on releasing them, make sure you wet your hand first. Don't take the slime off of them. All right, little guy, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'll try and let you go. I'll try and let you go, buddy. I'll try and let you go. Thank you so much for biting. There we go. There we go. Hook is out. Let's keep him in the net just to see how he does. He's bleeding a little bit, so we're gonna keep him. I don't feel right releasing a fish. That, that's probably gonna die now anyways. Let's just make it quick for him. I don't want him to suffer any more than he has to. One really good aim, blow to the head. Buddy, thank you so much. We're not gonna let you go to waste. Let's see if we can catch a couple more, maybe one more to eat, and then one more that we'll release. So we're just gonna head over to the swampy end of the lake and we're gonna troll this little dude here. Look at him, he's super cute. A <laughs> little tiny Rapala, a baby Rapala. Uh, got him from Garrett, one of uh, one of you guys. So thank you, Garrett. Uh, this thing's a total machine. So let's go ahead and cast it out and uh, troll it all the way back that way. There's also some nasty clouds coming in. I hope it doesn't start raining. Oh, did we have a bite right there? What the heck just happened? Oh, 
a bite of the fish. <laughs> he got a bite like instantly. <laughs> That's a fish on, baby. <laughs> Oh, come on. He feels like a little guy. Just a little guy. But he instantly bit, dude. Little tiny guy. Come. Oh, he's a fighter. He's a fighter, though. Fighter. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. Look at him. He's, he's a cutie. He's a cutie. He's going to say hi to the camera real quick. Oh, my goodness. Look at that little guy. He's beautiful. You know, because that other one didn't survive, let's let this little guy here go. He's barely hooked. One little chick. And he's off. Let's let him go. That was awesome. <laughs> I mean, right away, we got him like instantly. <laughs> Get out of here before another fish bites. <laughs> Look at Goose. <laughs> hey, Mr. Goose. We'll see you at the other end of the lake, all right? All right, cool. You know what they say about seeing a goose? It's good luck fishing. I don't know if it actually is. But... Oh, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> That's a fish on, baby. <laughs> That's a fish on. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Goose. <laughs> oh, oh, we got more of a fighter here. I want to get back to the uh, the beaver dams. What do we got here? Oh, oh, another feisty one. A feisty, feisty, beautiful trout. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, he inhaled that thing. He inhaled it. Let's see how badly he's hooked. If it's bad, uh, then we might keep him. Look at that. Oh, 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 geez. Okay. Oh, he's off. He's off. He's off. Oh, come on. Dude, I'm trying to save you, dude. All right, buddy. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh, and he's off. Man, these trout are crazy over here. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Damn. Damn. All right, let out some line. Get that line way up behind the uh, kayak so that we're not spooking the fish. There's the goose again. Oh, come on, don't bite, don't bite, don't bite. Let me at least get like 100 yards. Stay away from that lure. Stay away. Oh, there he is! Go oh, get the fish on, baby! Oh, that's a good one. Oh, he's coming at us, he's coming at us. Oh, 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 fighter. Oh, he's a jumper. We might want to keep this one, guys. This is not a bad trout. Oh, come here, baby. Come here. Oh, oh, he's angry. Is that a trout or is that a bass? What the heck is this? Oh, no, it's a, just a good-sized trout. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good Oh, my. Don't want to lose this one. <laughs> In the net, baby. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. That's another good one. We're, we're going to eat this guy. He's an eater for sure. All right, let's see here what we got. Oh, my goodness. Look, at he's such a fighter. Oh, he came off. He came off. He came off. All right, buddy. All right. He's, he's dancing. He's dancing. Three, two, one. Oh, he's done. <laughs> that, that was, we don't even need a second one. I can feel him kind of twitching. Look at the colors on him. He's even got some spots on his belly here. That's so cool, man. Spots in the face. He's got freckles. Look at him. <laughs> That was a good sized trout, so we kept him. Oh, how my luck has turned. Look how cute that little thing like spins around in the water there. So with all these beaver dams around, I kinda wanna check them out. And there's one right in here. I'm just gonna sneak in. Look at this massive beaver dam. My goodness, look at that. Wow. There's a goose! There's a goose! <laughs> Look at him. Right there, right there. Okay, yeah, I don't really want to bug him. It's probably a her. It looks like she's nesting. My goodness, she's like hunkering down. She's not making any noise. Usually geese, like we think when we get close to them, they like get all loud and run after you and stuff. But I think she's just hiding because she knows that her nest is like her most prized possession right now and she doesn't want to like risk anything there. That's all right, girl. Don't worry. We're, we're not going to bug you. Don't even really want to get any closer than this right here. Remember, if you guys ever see like birds or any animals like really breeding or nesting, it's probably just good to give them space. So we're just going to let her, let her kind of nest there and do her thing. She's super pretty. Looks like a cozy nest. 
that's one thing I love fishing, but I also just love general nature, photography, animals. I don't know, like one day I want to be like a documentary maker. Whenever the new like blue planets and stuff come out, I'm always the first to watch them. <laughs> what we're going to do now though is head out and try and catch one more trout on the bobber. Uh, but then we're going to cook up the trout together because I'm really hungry. So I'm trying to find out where a good spot might be to throw the underwater camera to maybe get a shot of the beaver. That would be really cool. So I'm looking for the entrance of the beaver dam so that maybe we can get a beaver on camera. And I might, maybe, 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 just maybe have found the entrance. Ooh, this worm here is looking good. Ooh, yeah. Oh, he wants to. Come on, baby. I saw you surface over there. You can't hide from me, little trout. The wind stopped for it. I feel like the wind kind of scares the fish away from the surface. Whenever the wind stops is when I'm seeing a lot of them surface. Ooh, if something's, there's action going on just to our right here. I cannot help but cast into it. Like right there. Come on, baby. Let's take a little nibble here. I might have just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. The bobber just dipped down for a second. It came back up. We're going to pay close attention to that. I, I'm pretty sure I just saw it go down. There's no waves. That could have only been one thing. A hungry fish. <laughs> Oh, bobber down, bobber down, bobber down, bobber down. I'm changing batteries right now. I'm in the middle of changing batteries. Oh, no, 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 Come on back. Come on back, come on back, come on back. We'll let him munch it this time. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. I was in the middle of changing GoPro batteries. My battery's about to die. GoPro, start recording. Oh, there he goes again. There he goes, there he goes. Bobber, bobber down, bobber down. There he goes, a fish on, baby. <laughs> Bobber down. Oh, 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 he's in my other line. Oh, he's going crazy. Oh, he's crazy. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. <laughs> All right, let me hide these batteries. Let me hide the batteries. Can't, oh, my goodness. What a mess. Oh, do you see my, my other line is... Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Come here. Come here. We're just going to... We're, we're just going to freaking boat flip him. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, 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 he came off. He came off. He came off. Oh, oh, he came off. Oh, my goodness. All right, down in the boat you go. What just happened? <laughs> Guys, we can officially say that we're back in business, baby. NWFS is back in business. Fishing season in Washington is just starting up. It's only spring, but summer is almost here. Let's get him out of his misery. Let's just go ahead and take him out real quick. Come here, baby. Come here, come here, come here. There we go. Things are on the upswing, man. Things are on the upswing. Oh, he broke off. He bro... How did... <laughs> oh, 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 he just came off. He came off. I don't know how that was possible. We'll be right there, geese. You guys hold, hold those beaver dams for us and we'll we'll join you in a second. Yeah, I gotta fix this here first. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got it. Okay, we're sneaking back to this beaver dam here where the goose is. Again, we're not gonna get too close to the goose, but I just wanna collect my camera and see if we captured a beaver underwater. That'd be really cool. Hello, Mr. Beaver. Mr. Beaver, are you home? Well, I'm gonna have to get home to review the footage of the underwater camera and see if we captured any images of the beaver.
All right, now you and I, we're heading over to this beaver dam here, and that's where we're gonna cook up our catch. <laughs> Hopefully the beaver doesn't come out and like bite me. All right, so we're gonna cook up our trout now by this beaver dam here. We've got our trout right down here, already on the cutting board, waiting to go. Let's uh, dock in here, nice and gently. Say hello here. That's perfect, there's like a little area right here where we can put some stuff. Here we go. Oh, the beaver! I swear the beaver's right over there, guys. Now we just need to hope that he doesn't join us for dinner. Well, he's more than welcome to join us for dinner, actually. I don't see what the problem would be. We're just gonna like chill here. We're docked up to the beaver dam, but we're not gonna like step on the beaver dam. Remember, if you guys see like beaver dams and stuff, I know in some areas beavers are considered nuisances, but uh, I think they're cool animals. So I, I would recommend to not disturb the dams. Don't like step on them or do anything stupid. Remember, there's like creatures living inside here. And uh, I think it's cool that like, I don't know, there's this like a little dude and his family living in this weird pile. All right, we're gonna need my cooking kit. Now the first thing we just also gotta do is clean up our trout for that. We've got the mini cleaver. <laughs> ooh, ooh, do I see a little bit of pink in that meat? And then we're just gonna cut right back here. Ooh, listen to that. And then look at this, this is the magic right here. All the guts. Man, look at that red meat. Now that is absolutely beautiful. And for me right now, I don't need to eat two trout. That was just for the thumbnail. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and throw this one back with the other trout. There we go. We'll clean him when we get home. Oh, I think I just heard the beaver again. Dude, I'm afraid to like touch the water. What if the beaver like takes a little nibble on my finger? <laughs> All right, tail. There we go. Throw out the tail along with the head and everything. That way the crawdads uh, can eat them. And the nutrients will just go right where they belong. Big old chunk of, of meat left. Mm. meat. Beautiful orange meat. It's just so peaceful out here right now. All I hear is birds. This is moments like this, man, that are... How can you beat this, dude? Oh, I'm getting hungry, man. I'm getting really hungry. This is... this. I did not expect this meat to be this red. Wow, look at that. Nothing left on there. So what I'm just going to do for right now is just hang these two fillets off of this beaver dam. Thank you very much. Hopefully I don't get beaver fever now. Uh, 
Oh yeah, look at that. Then we have a little mushroom here. Easy there, easy, 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 baby, easy. We got our cooking set up, all ready to go. Oh, Ooh. got a fresh pack of butter here. All right, the butter's ready to go. Some mushrooms. Oh, ooh, ooh, yes. Oh, the smell of those onions and the, the mushrooms. Oh, it's just coming together. The sun's setting. Sky's absolutely beautiful. Flew the drone a little bit. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a and a We haven't really ever done one on my channel. So while these guys roast, I'm just gonna read off a few questions that you guys asked on Instagram, I'm gonna give my answers. I did get like three or 400 questions from you guys. So we're gonna get through as many as we can here. There's some really good ones. Have you ever fished Alaska? Have you ever eaten grouper or catfish? Never eaten grouper, I've eaten catfish, done a catch and cook on that before, and I have never fished or been to Alaska, but that's a bucket list item for this year. I'm heading up to Alaska. What's your favorite technique for catching trout? Uh, probably bobber fishing. I would say bobber fishing for trout, number one, favorite way to do it. We're gonna do a little, little flip here. This is looking really darn tasty. All I want is for these onions to just start caramelizing a little bit, the mushrooms to brown. When's your next subscriber meetup? We've done one once before where we went squid fishing together. I'm kind of just waiting for like, probably summer. It'll be nice and warm. I've already got some great plans where we'll do a big old subscriber fishing party. Maybe also like a cleanup party where we can go somewhere, clean up, and then do some fishing afterwards. I think that'd be really awesome. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 30 years old. My birthday is in October. A lot of people asking, uh, how can we get a bullet lure? Now, if you guys missed it, I did some NWFS care packages uh, with a bullet lure, sea salt, some stickers, a little Christmas card from me. Uh, and we'll probably do something like that again. There's also people asking, is there gonna be any new merch out anytime soon? Right now, my emphasis has really been like figuring out how I can finally get out more videos again for you guys. So I haven't really put too much of my efforts into creating new merch, uh, but there are some really cool things coming out here soon. I've been working on some hats. And if you guys do want the current merch, uh, there's a link on my website site as well as I'll leave a link in the video description below you can check that out uh, is my name Swedish uh, my name is life l-e-i-f it's actually like it's a Swedish Norwegian Danish a Nordic name and there's a lot of people here asking too like am I actually from Washington am I from Germany what's the deal I grew up in Germany until I was probably about almost 18 years old and then in 2008 is when uh, I moved to the US things are starting to look mighty Mighty good. I almost want to say we need to add our trout here before we keep going over questions. We're gonna do meat side down first. I always have a problem when I do skin side down, it curls too much for me. There we go. We need to do a really important step here. We're gonna add some Danish sea salt. Oh yeah, nice generous portion. Oh, I'm ready for this, man. I'm absolutely starving. We got a little bit more time here while this is cooking. Oh, here's a really good one. What was your day job before YouTube? Uh, I was actually a real estate agent. Technically, I still am. I actually love being a real estate agent. But then when YouTube really started taking off, I had to kind of make a decision. Am I gonna continue doing full-time real estate or full-time YouTube? And I decided to go full-time YouTube. This is looking so good. Can I touch your mustache? <laughs> I need to shave actually again. I'm starting to get a little too scruffy. Can you say something in German? Ich könnte natürlich mit euch Deutsch sprechen, aber das Problem ist, dass die meisten von euch wahrscheinlich überhaupt nicht verstehen würde, was ich euch sage. Where did you live in Germany? 
I lived in a little town called TTZ. <laughs> believe it or not, I'll say it again, TTZ. Hey, you can Google it if you don't believe me. Cute little town. It was just a tiny farm town down in the Black Forest. I couldn't ask for a better place to have grown up in. Ooh, yes. Oh, man. Dude, I'm starving. I'm And I'm shaking. I'm just like... <laughs> reading these questions to you guys and I'm freezing man absolutely freezing I'm just like glad it's not raining on me I don't think it's gonna start either are you gonna do more salmon fishing this year yes absolutely we're gonna do lots of salmon fishing it's a huge deal up here in the northwest in my area I did just go on a steelhead fishing trip too so there's an episode of that coming out here probably very soon oh yes And use that board to like steam that in there a little bit can you do another survival video that's pretty much like all i want to do this year is just like disappear into the wild with you guys and do weird survival challenges where we're gonna fish and forage you know for mushrooms plants like expand our horizons push my limits and see like how far we can push it out there and just survive off of only what I can gather and forage. That'd be a lot of fun. I, I think that's, we've already done some on my channel and that's what we're gonna do a lot of. How old were you when you started fishing? I wanna say I was probably like six years old, maybe maybe even five or four or something like that. And uh, my dad taught me and my sister fishing in, I believe like the earliest memories I have were fishing in Denmark on a little island called Lesu. That's where I get that Danish sea salt. And we were fishing for a type of flounder that they have out there. Those are probably my oldest fishing memories. Oh yeah. I think, ladies and gentlemen, we might be ready. Why did you start YouTube? Uh, you know, I think YouTube is something that I've been doing for a long time. Uh, I started uploading my first videos to YouTube in probably 2008. I made DIY videos on how to make these underwater camcorder housings that you could shove your camcorder into using still um, like cassettes. <laughs> so I was thinking I was just gonna show you guys how to make something like this that will work just perfectly for any type of camera or camcorder. I started YouTube because I enjoy it. It's a passion for my fishing channel. I guess I just wanted to do it for fun, see where it goes. <laughs> what is the most reckless thing you've ever done? Oh, <laughs> I, I don't think I should probably say any of those things on here. <laughs> What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? Probably the biggest fish I've ever caught was a giant halibut that I caught. Um, and it was probably close to 40 pounds. Ooh, a lot of people asking for a collab with Fisherman's Life. Who's that? Do you ever get bored of eating fish? Hell no, baby. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do right now. Oh, this is looking good. We've got just a little flame going down there just to keep things warm. Oh my goodness, before I forget it, uh, The Guardian published an article on me and Northwest Fishing Secrets. So feel free, I'll leave a link in the video description below. They just published it here on Saturday. Oh yes, here we go. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh my goodness, this is delicious. Refreshing. I'm just gonna roast that little tortilla. Gonna throw some more trout on there. Mm. Oh, man. This is the life right here, man. I do want to get out of here before it's dark. The beaver, the beaver. I see the beaver. We saw the beaver <laughs> and he saw us <laughs> that you know what that's a that's a great way to to end the day man
All right, I love you guys. Thank you so much for enjoying. We'll see all of you very soon for the next one. And until then, you all know it. Fish on, baby.